Hey guys, Cage Reseller here, back at you with another plush sourcing video. This is going to be two Goodwill blue boxes. For these, I paid $25 each, $20 plus $5 shipping. It's $25 total, they're both from Dayton, Ohio. And the way these work is, it's basically a mystery lot of plush. So you don't know what you're going to get, but in general, I've been able to sell at least one or two of the items out of the box for $25, and then the rest is just profit or you know, donate back to the thrift store or garage sales. It's more of a fun thing for me to do and for y'all to see me go through and uh, explain what I think I have. And then sometimes I'll show comps at the end, just depending on if I have time or not. So let's get started with the first box. First thing I see is this little raccoon. This little green raccoon is... I'm not exactly sure what brand he is, per se. <laughs> but he looks cool, right? Well, he does have a barcode, so maybe he'll be easier to look up. But, I don't know, I don't really recognize it. The eyes look cool, but it doesn't look like any brand that I'm used to seeing. This is probably going to be a donation back to the thrift store. It's a Valentine's Day plush, probably. Well, it's American Greetings, maybe it lost some value. I doubt it, but it does have a, I think it had a barcode as well, so. But I'm not expecting that to bring up anything of value. Let's see, we got... Whatever this thing is. Sloth, maybe? I think that's what that is. Right? Sloth? <laughs> I don't know. No Velcro, which you're used to seeing on some of those. But let's see if we can get anything out of this. This is... I can't even tell what that says. Something toys. Ideal toys. Direct. Made in China? I don't know. Interesting. There's a Potato Head Pirate plush. It looks like it. By Nanco. So that's, that's a good one. Mr. Potato Head. 1999, so it is vintage. But Potato Head with a... Is that supposed to... Or it's not a sword. Is it a sword? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Either way, it's Potato Head. <laughs> This little guy is cool. This little bird from King Plush. Probably not worth much. Maybe $10, if that. But it's cool. It's pink. You never know. Someone might want that. In general, for these plush boxes, I will list more than I would. Or most of the stuff, obviously, I wouldn't pick up at a store. This is an elegant Easter plush. Maybe it'll have some value. K&K &K Games. Next up is this, oh, this is perfect for Halloween right now, Trick or Treat. I think that's a fox. It's top shelf collection. It's a fox with a little Trick or Treat bag right here. So, plush toy company. So, that'll get listed hopefully soon. Hopefully that'll be up by the time this video comes out. Might not be though. Hey, look, we got some more T.Y. Beanie Boos, uh, McDonald's things. Last I sold a set of the a set of twelve for like twenty dollars, I think. So that wasn't bad. But problem is, I'm not gonna have a full set probably this time. This guy, Topper, maybe. Can't really read that, but it's T.Y. Probably not worth much. Most T.Ys are not, even if someone tells you they are. Angry Birds, or if the internet tells you, if you see the internet telling you they're worth it, it's probably not true. This one doesn't look like a, a real, and by that I mean it says made in China and there's no other markings on it. So it's not, probably not Angry Birds, the actual company, but it can still, you can still sell it, just you have to be careful in your wording. This duck, interesting. Not really any markings on it that I can see, but you never know. Maybe there's a barcode in here I can look up. There is not. So I don't know on that one. Probably not worth much. We got some more T.Y. Beanie Babies. Snort the Bull is the red one. Not worth much. Same with Freckles, I think. Yeah, Freckles the Leopard. See this little bear with an outfit on him is manufactured by Fine Toy Company. 
Korea. Might be decent value there. I don't know. And I'm not sure if the outfit actually goes with him or not. There's not. I don't think there's any way to really tell unless it's sewn in. And even then, you can't fully guarantee it is. Uh, another TY. Beanie Boppers. Does have the tags. Looks like it's uh, Christmas themed with the little snowman outfit. Another TY. Whereas a lot of people like to say Ty, but I'm going to keep saying TY. That one's ears, appropriately named. This is the box. I see a Blue's Clues. Probably not that great, but it is Tyco. Is it vintage? I think it might. Yep, 1997. Vintage Blue's Clues plush. Don't know if there's any sound to it. Kind of feels like there is, but then... Maybe that's just the parts to keep it from, you know, getting too bent out of shape so it stays in good shape. I think this might be Tweety. Oh, yes, it is. It's a Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird with a soccer ball. It does still have the tags. Don't know if it has a year on it or not. It doesn't look like it, but that should do pretty well. There's lots of people that like Looney Tunes, and I know there's a decent amount of people that like Tweety Bird. So that one, I think it did say a year right there, 2003. So it's not vintage, but still a cool little plushie. This little dog. Sweet Hollywood. It's probably not worth much, probably not worth listing. You know, it says $10 right there. That's what somebody originally paid for it. Petting Zoo. See this TY Clubby too. I'm gonna be garage sale or just donate back. Another Happy Valentine's plush from K and K Games. So maybe lots of Valentines together. Let's see this bear is made in China. Don't know if we're gonna get any more info. Wide Way Ink. Interesting. And some more TY after we look at the Webkin's Frog. TY, the monkey, bung, no, is that Bongo or Congo? This might be Congo. It's Bongo. Bongo, the monkey, and then Quack, Quackers? Yep, Quackers, the duck. So I used to <laughs> have a lot of Beanie Babies. Let's see, and then you got these, not really worth anything. I've had a set of these listed for a long time, never sold. These, although you think, you're like, you make, oh, I have errors. No, you don't. I mean, you might, but in general, those are not worth more than a dollar. <laughs> you can buy them together, you might get five or ten dollars, but don't feed into the hype that teeny beanies are worth money. Here is box number two of this plush haul from Goodwill. This looks like a Coles Cares. Yep, Coles Cares Curious George. Sold this one before between $10 and $15. So it's a little bit of profit to start out that one. This is a generic Valentine's plush. So maybe I'll lot all those Valentine's. Or I don't know if it's worth holding them that long. Holding all those Valentine's plush that long. But sometimes these boxes are connected, sometimes they're not. Not sure yet on this one if it's connected or not. Let's see, we got a help save us giraffe. It has the tags, but the tags are not in very good condition, obviously. But let's see, the brand is applause. So maybe there's a little bit of value to that guy. This little dog. It's from my Mioni, Myoni by Aurora. I've heard this brand does well, but the ones I've picked up have never really done all that well. Maybe my prices are too high. I'm not sure, but this little dog, I don't know if it's a beagle or basset hound. It might be a beagle. I'm not sure what kind of dog that is, but whatever kind of dog it is, hopefully it's going to sell pretty well. It's a sugar loaf, bean bags, reindeer. Tags have been 
chewed off of it, but the plush is in good condition still. This little bear is Cottage Collectibles by Gans. This little blue dog is from Cole's Cares. I should probably know what it's from. If you know what it's from, let me know down below. Usually these Cole's Cares plushes are from books or something similar to that. Let's see, we got this big monkey. <laughs> This big monkey right here, it's very, very green. It is the brand Great American Toy Company. So, I don't know on this one. Usually, bigger plush can be pretty good. We will see on him whether or not that's true or not. This looks like a pound puppy. It is a pound puppy. It's a chocolate dog, so dark brown. No tags or anything, but obviously that is the giveaway that it's pound puppies. So that should sell probably 15 to 20, somewhere in that range. This looks like, well, I'll say this looks like Folkmanis, Leopard Frog Puppet. So that's really good. I love Folkmanis, especially whenever it still has the tags. Might not be new with tags, but it still has tags. And Folkmanis always have uh, this, which, like I said, on the last one I found or the last one I sold, that rabbit that I sold for 32 in the previous What Sold video, actually. Uh, this guy, this is how you usually identify Folkmanis as this. They're not usually going to have the tags with them, but this one also has a tag, so it's a really cool Folkmanis find. Definitely makes this box better than the last one with just that. <laughs> that last box really didn't have much in it. This is Liberty toy company just a generic blue bear one I would not pick up if I saw it in the thrift store but now that I have it I will look it up and see if I can sell it anybody know what this guy is from secret life of pets buddy he's the dash out dash out slash wiener dog from that this is a baby toy I think it's got a little rattle in it Another big monkey. I don't really like the big ones that aren't great because they take up a lot of space and don't really sell. Got a couple items left in this box. This little dog from Dandy with a little heart in his mouth. We got a, a lion from Fiesta. So no way of really knowing that one and then we got a couple more beanie babies chocolate the moose two teeny beanies and this little guy from uh doc mcstuffins i believe is what he's from so that might be the first disney that i've got in these two boxes so <laughs> not great whenever you only get like one disney item but it's not bad overall the folk is going to help this box do well but i don't know Started out doing really well with these boxes and finding some stuff. Lately, they haven't been very good. I've still got like three or four boxes left that I haven't opened yet. But, yeah. <laughs> if y'all are enjoying the seeing the blue boxes and what I find in them, let me know. I have fun opening them just because it's fun to open them. It's, you know, only $25, so it's not like it's that big of an investment. And typically, I'm going to make my money back, at least make my money back, and usually make a decent profit on these boxes, so... I'm going to look up a couple of these and try and get back to y'all on some values, but if I don't, then I'll see y'all in the next one. Alright, so doing a little bit of further research, this guy is from Clifford. He's Mac. Apparently, I'm not very good at watching Clifford, or if I did, I don't remember it. Because I also said, like, in the last video, I think I did Cole's Cares, I said one was, I think, Lucy from Charlie Brown, and it was actually the girl from Clifford. So... I don't know my Clifford, and apparently they did a Cole's Care series on Clifford. This and he's worth around ten fifteen dollars. Same with Buddy, T.Y. Beanie or T.Y. Beanie, ten fifteen dollars. Same with the Beagle. This is a Beagle, Mione, Mione. It's around ten to fifteen, and then this little guy is worth about twenty five. So definitely pays for that box, back for that box, 
but it's not as great as some other boxes that I've had. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment with your favorite. Mine's got to be either the little Folkmanis frog or the Tweety Bird from box one with the soccer ball. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like I said, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.